All right, so uh, here's something that people are often confused with. Uh, by all means, by all means, by all means, by no means, by no means, by any means, by any means. And, and uh, maybe later we can talk about by any means necessary. I might talk about that today. I might not. I don't know. And by all accounts, I might talk about this maybe at a later time. Uh, I want to mainly focus on these three, okay? All right, so by all means, by no means, by any means. You can probably already tell that it's these are actually using one expression. It's all one expression, actually. But that one expression is just being used in different ways, depending on the context. Uh, this is one of those expressions that um, a lot of Korean people have a really hard time wrapping their heads around. Uh, when they hear it, they usually understand the overall gist of what the person is trying to say because there's context. You know, context usually helps a lot. But when it comes to this expression being used different ways like this, a lot of people are confused with them. And if you are one of those people, I just want to help you today uh, very briefly, or as briefly as I can, I try to understand this expression a little better, okay? All right, so basically, basically, uh, by all means, by all means, this means certainly. It means certainly. It doesn't mean that we can replace certainly with by all means. Sometimes we can, but not always. But the meaning is certainly and definitely. That's kind of what it means. And so let me let me give you an example. For example, probably one of the most common ways this expression is used is as a response. As a response, as a response to some kind of request. And by saying by all means, we 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 give permission. Okay, we, so what I mean is uh, we, we say, by, oh, by all means. And by saying that, we're giving that person permission to do something. So let's say, for example, let's say uh, there are many of us here, many of us uh, here all waiting in line to use the bathroom. Okay, there's only one bathroom, there's only one toilet, and we're all in line uh, to use the toilet. Uh, you're in front of me. So I know you're, you're supposed to go first, but let's say that I have to, I, I'm, I'm in a rush. I'm in a real hurry because I have to go somewhere really quickly. So I have to use the bathroom real quick. And so uh, I know you, we're, we're friends. And so I ask you, hey, is it okay if I go first? Is it okay if I go first? I promise I'll be quick. <laughs> okay, let's imagine this is the conversation. Hey, is it okay if I go first? I promise I'll be quick. Is it okay if I go first? I promise I'll be quick. You know what that means, right? And here, you can say, oh, by all means, by all means. Now, instead of by all means, we can, uh, of course, we can say, sure, go ahead. Absolutely. Certainly. Uh, of course. <laughs> we can say all of these things, but we can also say, by all means by all means. And uh, I'm sure many of you have already uh, noticed, but yes, you're right. By all means, compared to these, compared to these, by all means, does sound rather formal. Yeah, it certainly does. It has a more formal tone to it. But that doesn't mean that it's only used in formal situations. It's very, very commonly used, very commonly. It's just another way to say, sure, go ahead, absolutely, certainly, okay? So, as you are giving permission, as you are giving the person permission to do something, oh, by all means, by all means. And to my ears, to my ears, when we say by all means instead of this, okay, first of all, it seems a bit more polite. It just seems more nice. It seems more sincere. Uh, so if I were A, if I were asking you for permission to go first and you were giving me the permission and you said, oh, by all means, I would feel really good. I would, I would feel good about these too, sure. 
But if you said this, you know, I would probably be going to the bathroom and I would be thinking in my head, wow, this person's really polite and nice and very generous. <laughs> I mean, more so than if I had heard this. You understand what I'm trying to say? So it, it, it just, it's just a bit more polite, but that doesn't mean that it sounds dull or boring or too strict. No, it, it's, it's a very commonly used response. Oh, well, by all means, by all means. Uh, one other way that this is used, uh, by all means, is often used inside a sentence as well. So let me give you the sentence right now. Let me show you. All right, let's imagine that I made some very big changes to the way I make these videos and the way I upload them and the way we do our live streams. Okay, let's say that I made some big changes. And let's say, let's imagine that my viewers, you, are the majority of you are happy about these changes. And uh, you can you can say some, something like this, right? Uh, oh, oh the, these are certainly uh, very welcome changes for us. Oh, these are uh, certainly very welcome changes for us. You can easily understand what that means, right? Oh, these are certainly, or you can say these are definitely, oh, these are definitely very welcome changes for us. Yes, yes, these are certainly, these are definitely very welcome changes for us. But instead of certainly, definitely, you can also say, by all means, by all means, very welcome changes for us. Oh, these are by all means, very welcome changes for us. By all means is simply another way to express this, certainly or definitely. However, because of that relatively more formal tone, it sounds a little bit more sincere. It, sound, it, it sounds like you're putting a little more weight into the way you're speaking, and therefore it sounds a little more sincere, not just something you're saying out of politeness, okay? You actually mean it, okay? But that doesn't mean this is bad, <laughs> okay? Certainly, definitely, they're really, really good. Perfectly natural, everything's fine. It's just another way. Uh, by all means, is simply another way of expressing this with a little bit more uh, formality uh, and therefore giving it, uh, giving it a little more weight, okay? So by all means. So let's go over that really quickly again. So when someone's asking you for permission, okay? Uh, hey, uh, is it okay if I do this? And you wanna give that, give that person the permission and you wanna do it in a rather polite way? Oh, by all means, by all means. Here, in a sentence, in a sentence. Oh, oh, these are by all means, very welcome changes for us. In this sentence, by saying by all means, by saying by all means, to my ears, it's kind of like saying in every way. These are very welcome changes for us in every way. In every way. By all means. So in every way. In every way, no matter how you look at it, in every way, these are welcome changes for us. I want you to keep that in mind. Okay, it's going to come into play later. Uh, when we talk about some of these other expressions, okay? So let's move on to by no means. So by all, wait, <laughs> by all means, okay, by all means, by all means, certainly, definitely, by no means, can we say that by no means is the opposite of by all means, all and no? I think you could. Okay, so I am by no means an expert in this area. I am by no means an expert in this area. I am by no means an expert in this area. All right, so what does this mean? This means not at all. This means not at all. The thing that we have to remember about this expression is uh, requires a positive uh, statement. 
It requires a positive statement. So look, I am. I am an expert in this area. I am by no means an expert in this area. So remember when I said in every way, this is by all means, it's kind of like saying in every way. So these are welcome changes for us in every way. This here is like saying in no way. In no way. 그 어떤 식으로도 아닌. 그 어떤 식으로도 그렇지 하지 않는 아닌. It means not at all. In fact, we can replace this with not at all. We can say and we can say I am not at all an expert in this area. I am not at all an expert in this area. I am not at all an expert in this area. I am by no means an expert in this area. I am by no means an expert in this area. Okay, so that was number two. Let's put uh, numbers on these so they're easier to read later on. Okay, now it's number three, by any means. Now this is very, very similar to by no means, the only difference is that the negative is not already in here, requires a negative, requires a negative statement. It basically means at all. You know how to use this expression at all, right? Uh, that company is not successful <laughs> uh, by any means. That company is not successful at all. Uh, another example could be, um, I, um, I have, never considered myself um, by any means religious. I have never considered myself um, religious by any means. Another way we can say that is on any level or to any extent. Okay, I've never considered myself religious to any extent, on any level, by any means. I'll put that down here. Um, uh, on some, any, no level. Um, uh, to some, any, no extent. <laughs> Actually, I didn't realize this until just now as I was, as I'm filming this right now that these expressions actually, they function in a very similar way as this does. Hmm, interesting. Uh, going over this again, by all means, certainly, definitely, in every way, in every way. Is it okay if I go first? I promise I'll be quick. Is it okay if I go first? I promise I'll be quick. Sure, go ahead, absolutely, certainly, of course. These are good. You can also say, oh, by all means, by, by all means, my friend, go ahead. <laughs> by all means, by all means, giving permission, giving permission, by all means. Oh, these are certainly, these are definitely very welcome changes for us. Uh, we've been wanting these changes for a long time. So these are certainly definitely very welcome changes for us. These are by all means, very welcome changes for us in every way. In every way, these are very welcome changes for us. By no means. We're just using this expression in the negative way. By no means, not at all. So it requires a positive statement. So I am by no means an expert in this area. I am by no means an expert in this area. Uh, that means I am not at all. I am not at all an expert in this area. I am not at all an expert in this area. Okay, then we moved on to the third one. By any means, this simply requires a negative statement and it's the same way we say at all. It's the same thing. So that company is not successful by any means. Yeah, that company is not by any means successful. Is not, is not by any means. I've never considered myself by any means religious. I've never considered myself by any means religious. I've never considered myself religious by any means. I've never considered myself religious by any means. Now, primarily, the reason I'm doing this today is to help you maybe understand a little better the next time you hear this uh, from a native speaker. Of course, in the long run, 
eventually I would like you to um, be able to use this. Like I said at the very beginning, uh, using this expression, it gives a little more weight into your sentence instead of just saying at all, not at all, certainly, definitely. It just gives a little more weight into your sentences, okay? But primarily uh, in order to understand this better, okay? All right. Okay, that's it today. Uh, I don't know how long this video is going to last. I'll have to uh, take this over to the editing software. And so uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. All right, that's it today. Uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and have a great rest of your day. I will maybe see you tonight. I'm not really sure about tonight. Uh, we'll see what happens. I hope I can see you soon. It is so sweet under the sun. And even if my pocket's empty, I don't really want to go to work. Mm, no, no, no. It is so sweet under the sun. I'm gonna take my time, cause I don't really want to go to work.